That's I gorgeous. was telling him how, about the long motors we stick in the Bostonian. Some people are saying, how do you, do you braid them or do you do this or do you do that? And I said, no. You just keep winding them up and you feel. Well, you, you're making an attempt to put the longest one in you can. And that's yeah. that's one of the things that you know, We've been doing, doing and doing and doing and we're up to. It's a lot of uh, playing right back and forth to you get the right size that's going to keep. Like, how many wines do you feel you have left by that? You can't. Well, what we do is, like, if you put one up, and if, you, if you're up there and you put too big a motor in, and it dead sticks, mm -hmm. so then you either lengthen your motor, you make it skinnier, you know, so you keep flying and try to work it so that when it hits, that you're just about out of wines. Do you fly any indoor at all? Yeah, I have a Bostonian, uh, oh, yeah, okay. uh, be yeah. uh, Beancraft Bonanza, it's, it's a little down. wide tail. Well, you can learn a lot by with flying those things, and, mm -hmm. you know, you fly in a gym, don't you? Gym, a gym, 25 foot gym. And you know all about backing off turns, eh? Do you know about that? For low ceiling? No. Oh, well. See? see? Okay, There's look so you. many people that don't, don't you know, I'm surprised. Okay, you got a long motor, right? Uh, it, it, yeah, well, it doesn't matter how long it is or how short. But when you wind up, then you back off, and that takes the climb up. Well, you know, you, you go up and you, you hit the ceiling, and that's your trouble, and you say, well, my motor's too, too powerful. Too, too thick, I think. But you come down, maybe with a lot of turns. Yeah. It, the ideal thing to have is to come down with the turns just about all run out, right? Right. Mm -hmm. But normally, you would wind that motor up tight and you go bash it on the ceiling mm -hmm. if, yeah, if you ran out of turns. See? Mm -hmm. So the thing to do is, is to wind that motor up tight, but then back off turns. And, and take and, off a lot of them at first. Yeah, until you know where the ceiling is, sort of. Like, see, you use it, an it, oversized motor. Okay, that's you know, where I'm. I'm using a motor. I think that is just it. right to get me to the ceiling. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. But you, you end up with a whole bunch of turns left. Yeah, pretty much. So many. the thing to do is use a large cross section of rubber, a larger cross section, and just for kick, you know, so you don't go take any chances. Back off 20 percent, 30 percent of your turns yeah. right off the bat. Mm -hmm. You wind it up tight, and then back off 30 percent of them, because it takes the initial power burst, burst right yeah, off. Yeah. See? I, I never, it never dawned on me to back off like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It seems, you know, it seems the opposite thing to do. Yeah. What actually, in a low ceiling, you fly in a larger cross section of rubber than you do when you're in a high ceiling. See, it, which is the reverse to what you think you do. See what in, in a high ceiling. What about the length? Well, length it can be anything. I mean, you it's usually try and use as long a motor as you can, as you can, the can to get back off. Well, in, in events except where you get. Uh, real lightweight, you know, ECB yeah. or something like that, and, and uh, you probably don't want to go over the weight of the air airplane. It, it's it's easy then. For the you know, seven gram be. Bostonian, I haven't. The seven gram about. Bostonian, I mean, you're never going to stick seven grams of rubber in one nah, of those. three point five. So you go as much as you can. You go as long a motor as you can, mm -hmm. and Start I try and go larger cross section. Of Inches. Yeah. What's your cross section? And mine, about 75 thou. If the airplane is right around 7 grams. My, then, my plane's probably around 8. Okay, so then you may the have prop. to go up to 85 thou. Depends on the prop you're using. And then again, it might depend on the rubber and the prop and the pitch. I was about 8.2.